please Aladdin. So now we're gonna get all dressed up in Jasmine inspired fashion. I think that's called like Disney bound fashion. Disney yeah. bounding fashion. <laughs> so we're starting with fresh clean faces and we have to do some Jasmine makeup. Like uh, she has some purplish pinkish lipstick and uh, a light blush, I think. She has, she has really heavy eyeshadow, yeah. not eyeshadow, but um, eyeliner. And, and then is, thick eyebrows. Yeah, I already got that part covered. So. <laughs> so this is pretty much like a makeup dress up day, mm -hmm. right? We're gonna play in some makeup. I'm gonna put some foundation on just to even out my skin. Make my lashes look nice and long. Do you want a little mascara? Yes. All right, here we go. Using some lip liner to define my lips. And then a little bit of lip gloss. Our Jasmine inspired face. Now let's get dressed. This is my Jasmine inspired outfit. I got the arms out, kind of like how she does it, you know, the little off the shoulder thing. And of course, the Jasmine's signature color, this teal aqua blue. I like my sheer top, because it reminds me of the Aladdin style curtains. I got her jeans, because I think this is how she would dress if she was my age and living in our time. So now we have our Jasmine inspired look, but now we need the hair. She is known for having this really long black hair, so I think that's really gonna help to make our look Jasmine E. Here's the hair, the long hair, and of course a headband. I have a little gold. Grecian style headband. I have like the ribbon, the wrap thing that you tie around with bunny ears. At least yours came out, but yours is blue like Jasmine's. Yes. I couldn't find one like that. Mine's gold. Cool. <laughs> I like gold too. Maybe Jasmine switches it up sometimes. Yes. And jewelry. Big bracelet, like the genie. A big old cuff. And then of course, I'm gonna wear her necklace. Oh. Jasmine-y, jasmine Disney bounding, Disney bound, whatever you like to call it. Princess E. Uh, let's go and let's go shoot our video for yes. our Disney movie review. I'm Froggy. And I'm Little Froggy. Today we are reviewing the classic Disney movie, Aladdin. I love Aladdin. This was actually uh, the very first Disney princess movie I watched when I was little. Yeah, it was. And everything had to be Aladdin, right? I mean, there was Aladdin pajamas, uh, or no, Jasmine pajamas, Jasmine shoes, Jasmine costume jewelry, everything was Jasmine. And it was actually my favorite when I was smaller. Really? Yeah, this movie's been around for a little while. <laughs> Spoilers! All right, so if you've never seen Aladdin, we're gonna run through a quick, brief explanation of the movie. It starts out with a young guy who's pretty much an inner city type person who, uh, <laughs> lived on the streets and came in contact with a magic lamp which changed his life because he wanted to become a prince to win the heart of the princess and he told a whole bunch of uh, lies. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and <laughs> had to uh, fix things, uh, go back and try to undo all the damage he had done and live happily ever after. And it's so funny because this story actually has a much bigger theme. There's actually two better themes. Yes. Uh, one saying that, you know, the best things in life are free. You don't really need the money. Because Jasmine actually... She didn't want to be a princess. She didn't want to be the, the wealthiest girl. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She didn't want all the responsibility of money. Yet there was Aladdin <laughs> dreaming of being in the castle. And when he got there, it was not what he thought because people were like throwing him in the ocean and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then, to be yourself. If Aladdin had just been himself, 
everything. Like, you had like so many chances, and then like, dude. <laughs> I know, like the, even the genie was like, "Come on, be yourself, tell the truth." And he was like, "No, I can't." And then all this bad stuff happened because, yeah. If he told the truth to the Sultan, Jafar would probably be like banished or something because. Well, he did tell on Jafar when Jafar threw him in the water. Yeah, he did, but but had he set the genie free, then he would have Jafar would have never had the genie. Exactly, Jafar would have never became the greatest sorcerer at all. I know. Oh, well, now he's a, a genie, genie. genie. <laughs> a meanie genie. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of all over the place. This movie is just so awesome. There's so much to talk about. It is a total classic Disney movie, and they did it beautifully. It's back when stuff was still hand drawn. You know, before all yes. the computer animation. And uh, the colors are pretty. I mean, can you imagine having to draw the whole city of Agrabah? And then Jasmine's hair, and uh, the water flowing, the birds flying. I mean, back in the day, everything was hand drawn. And I, I thought that was amazing. And this movie is full of Easter eggs, like crazy. If you don't know what Easter egg is, it's pretty much something from another movie that's hidden in another movie. So like, one example is, um, Oh, when um, the genie had how to make a prince. The cookbook. The cookbook. And he pulls Sebastian out of the book. <laughs> and then yeah. he hears a little mermaid song just for a hot second. And it's just like. That was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. And when the Sultan is stacking up his little figurines, little animal figurines, there is a little figurine of the beast from Beauty and the Beast. One thing that I've always wondered is. When you're watching movies like this and there's a secret room, you know, because Jafar has a oh, secret lair. Yes. Was that lair always there? Did he build it? Did other advisors tell him where it was? I mean, how do you get a secret lair in a castle that doesn't belong to you? Because the castle belongs to the Sultan, well, but how did he know? Well, maybe he had um, some spell. And he put it down and with the bricks and he had this, this, this giant room. He couldn't do magic. He, I mean, I'm No, but he had potions. Yeah, he had potions, but what are you gonna do? Mix some tea tree oil and lavender and make a room? I don't think it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work that way. But I guess in a movie where genies exist, pretty much anything is possible. Yes. And that's what's totally awesome about Aladdin. Anything is possible. But just like the genie turning into different animals. And pulling Sebastian out of a cookbook. <laughs> What was your favorite character? I love the magic carpet because it was so much personality and a thing that wouldn't usually have personality. And I just loved it because it was just like so funny because you had the carpet just walking around. I loved it. It, had, it did have a lot of yes. personality. You know who else has a ton of personality? Yeah. Abu. Abu. <laughs> if you, you watch his face. <laughs> just go watch the whole movie and just look at his face. Just watch his facial expressions. <laughs> Are hilarious. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? Uh, I'm so predictable. I'm gonna say it's Jasmine. <laughs> because oh, that would be Boo. I like Abu, but I love Jasmine. She was a princess that wasn't waiting uh, to be rescued. You know, she wasn't your dam damsel in distress kind of princess. She was like a take charge princess. You know, I am not a prize to be won. <laughs> That's an awesome quote right there. And you cannot talk about a Disney movie without mentioning the music. The songs are awesome. I love them. I can show you the world. I mean, I can just sit there and actually I was singing that song quite a bit. I think my favorite song was probably Jafar's though because he took the Prince Ali song, which I really like, and then he made it like he told the truth of it, which I really like that. Prince Ali, yes it is. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna take your song and make it my way. Yeah, I know. And I'm gonna I take your lamp that. too. I'll take your lamp too. <laughs> if I could pick a third favorite character though, I think it would be Iago. <laughs> Iago was awesome. And his anti-cracker. <laughs> no crackers. <laughs> if I gotta eat one more of those crackers. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed our hair day movie review and our Jasmine inspired look. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on the Frog Vlog. Bye.